Hello, my name is Michael, and I'm gonna blow your mind. Did you know that the New Testament never explicitly uses a term like preaching or preaching the gospel or proclaiming the gospel, speaking about conveying the Christian message to other Christians? A friend of mine, Richard Cruz, who is a pioneer in the house church movement in Sweden, claimed so in a blog post um, a couple of years back. And I sort of, I was very skeptical to that statement. I was like, is that really true? Um, so tonight I've done a little bit of research, I've looked at, I think, all um, passages in the New Testament where that refers to preaching and as you may know, the New Testament uses several different words. Um, one of the most common is keruso, uh, another is evangelizo, which obviously refers to, to uh, preaching the gospel and there are some other um, verses or words as well like uh, <laughs> which is the, from the same root as angel conveying a message and I think this statement is correct I couldn't really find any passage where um, the author which is mostly Paul or Luke um, re refers to um, conveying a message to other Christians as preaching the words used then is teaching uh, like uh, didaskalai and, and uh, similar words. Dialogomai is also used, right? Um, there are a few um, passages that could seem to be directed to Christians, like um, Romans 1, where Paul says that he wishes to come to Rome to um, preach to you in verse 15, and also in Acts 20. Uh, which is really interesting. It, it uses this contrast a lot, you know, preaching um, to the public and then teaching um, to Christians. But then in, in um, verse 25, Paul actually says that he has been preaching about the kingdom um, to you, his listeners, who obviously were Christians. However, what we need to keep in mind is that in this case, those were converts, those were people that he had uh, led to Christ. It says in the previous chapter that he was preaching publicly and, and dialoguing publicly uh, in the lecture hall of Tyrannus every single day in Ephesus for two years until all of Asia had heard the gospel. And I think that when he talks about coming to you to preach in, in Romans 1, um, that he's actually referring to you Romans rather than just you Christians. And one of the reasons I think that the New Testament uses these words in this manner is that we need to remember that the early Christians met in homes and in a home there's not really a need to proclaim or preach because that's really what these words refer to. Now, in our church building traditions we are so um, used to that you have this you know, a large group of people you need microphones and stuff like that. That was not the reality in the other church. Now, what does this mean? Well, I think it means that most pastors and priests don't preach the gospel. They never do. Um, I think that preaching really refers to conveying the Christian message to those who don't believe. And this really changes how we think about preaching. And it also uh, changes how we view how to convey messages in the church. I think using a teaching format, which is more open to question and dialogue, is really the more biblical way when Christians discover uh, the truth of the Bible. And the role of preaching, proclaiming, really is something that the clergy should do on the streets and in public places. Thank you for watching. God bless you.